go. Welcome back, guys. Everything good? Can you hear me? <laughs> good. So um, I go to my share folder. What did you call the file? CAD. Yeah. Aperol. Super. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Me and this file have a lot in common right now. Um, so, okay, this is already uh, converted. Let's start from scratch so that we... Oh, shit, you don't have it from scratch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello. Bitte komm einfach rein. Okay, so here the file is already converted. Um, we'll go back to this in a second. I'm just going to show you basically how it's going to work when we want to import a file from Rhino to Cinema 4D. Okay? So say, let's take the option that we have created uh, a couple of, uh, a week ago actually. Good. So in theory we have the file that looks amazing. It's already well done. It's divided into um, layers. So all we have to do is say to the file, file save as. I'm gonna save it on the desktop so not to bother you. And then we will say motion builder fbx. Motion Builder FBX, save. How do we want to save it? Mesh only, Fong uh, version seven, uh, 7 binary, that's fine, okay. We want to use more polygons because we never know if we're working with freeform surfaces, so okay. It will take a second for the file to be saved. Then what we can do, we can open a brand new file in Cinema 4D and we can say file merge now when we say uh, file merge we need to go and look for the file that we have just created in this case is the level 02 good open okay I'm recording it so you can go back and watch it later that's how recording works was it too fast? okay let's do it again so we go to file, merge, I click merge, okay, 3, 2, 1, click, then we go and look for level 2, and that's it. Now the options that come out by default are okay, you have to leave them the way they are, okay. Now, the problem that you might have is that the, the, the geometry itself might not have the same scale as in Rhino. This is, of course, a very big issue. Also, we don't know if we share the same zero point as discussed already in the past. So let's take a look. And actually, the geometry is there, but is unfortunately... Um, you know, you have to go and look for it. Now, the first step that we want to do, don't worry about anything for now. The first step that we want to do is to understand in which direction this geometry needs to be turned. Okay? Because the, the FBX format and the normal Rhino format, sorry, the normal Cinema format don't share the same vertical axis. So we need to go and change this. It's not a problem. The number one step is to go and select all the objects that we have selected here and group them by clicking Alt-G. When you say Alt-G, then you get a, control, a, a, a single object. Now, to rotate the single object, Either we go up here, 
into the rotation uh, tool or as the mouse hovering suggests we click on R for rotation so I'm just gonna click R and now I have the rotation now you have three axes the red the blue and the yellow which axis are we going to use to rotate this model what do you think say it again louder okay I'm gonna give you a little help Re red very good I knew it you knew it so to turn it 90 degrees we're just gonna click on shift so that it's going to snap of 10 degrees and we have it clicked on uh, and we have it turned at 90 degrees now what you see here we need to understand if they are just groups that were carried over if they are groups they might be uh, all grouped in a specific group okay this is the existing one on the zero we can simply take this and delete it now as far as I'm concerned I would not go and modify the position of the model I would not go and modify anything else okay so the model is now imported now one thing that we need to do is remove the old materials that come over from Rhino so Rhino basically what it does during the export gives some general materials which are basically not existing meaning that you know we didn't create them in Rhino they're just a product of the layering system good so how do we do this there is a very quick way to go and delete all the materials guys pay attention because I see that you're looking around like I'm right here click on any of the material widgets that you have on your objects click on Steuerung this will make a copy if you click and drag and bring it to the null position okay once you're in the null position on the very top of the hierarchy right click select identical child tags and now you can delete them click delete now if you open any hierarchy you will see there is no material applied to your model anymore you can now simply take the two materials that you have in your material editor and delete them get rid of them so the model it's now ready for you to work on okay now it could be that you have to adjust the sides of the model because the sides of the model might not be realistic how can we check this the most simple thing to do is to select an object and kind of control or check in the sides tab the actual sides of it in this case we have 400 centimeters by 5454 I would say this is kind of correct good so now this example is done I'm going to stop the recording so that you can go back to it and we keep it simple so that you don't have to go through the whole video and then we're gonna switch to the model that you know Angela has provided okay good